Approximate square root of seventy. Oh, how should seven? Of course, there is a very wonderful approximation. For approximating the square root of s, where s is a positive integer, if s is equal to a squared plus b, where a and b are positive integers and b is smaller than a squared, then square root of s is a plus b over 2a plus b over 2a plus b over 2a, and so on. And the proof is very easy. I think you can prove it yourself, can't you? What about the square root of 70? Huh. You know, I know, and we all know, that 70 can be written as 64 plus 6. 64 is 8 squared, so it is 8 squared, then plus 6. Very good. Then what shall we do? Formula. Then, square root of 70 is, of course, a is 8, b is 6. It is a plus 8 plus 6 over 2a is 16, plus 6 over 16, plus 6 over 16, plus blah blah blah, is this. If we take 0 fractional line, then it is going to be 8. So we can say that square root of 70 is approximately equal to 8. However, the approximation is, of course, very bad. Then, if you take one fractional line, what do I mean? So it is approximately equal to 8 plus 6 over 16. And 6 over 16 is 3 over 8. It is 0 0.375. So it is 8.375. If we take two fractional lines, it is 8 plus 6 over 16 plus 6 over 16. Since we know that this guy is 0 0.375, so here the denominator is 16.375, then you can see the result is going to be approximately equal to 8.3666. So square root of 70 is approximately equal to 8.3664. Of course, you can also take three fractional lines. However, the calculation will be much, much, much more complicated. Now, if you press square root of 70 on the calculator, then it's going to tell you on the calculator it's approximately equal to 8.36. 6, 0, 0, 2. So now you can see that our approximation was really great. 8.366. Three digits after the decimal point. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.